In today's episode, I'm back with another recipe that I'm pretty sure you're going to love it, especially with this bipolar weather of Nairobi. So we are making some butternut soup, and I'm pretty sure you're going to love this once you try it out. With me, I have my ingredients. From this corner, I have an onion, half of it. I have some two butternuts. I have my garlic and ginger paste. You can also use garlic and ginger separately. I have some salt, some milk, some cooking oil, and this is my secret spice. I have some black pepper, and finally, we are going to accompany that with some bread. And without further ado, let's get started. So let's get started, and I'll start by showing you how I peel my butternut. You can use a sharp knife, but I love using this because it's very easy. Just like that. that simple and I'm just going to remove these marks and you can see how ripe my butternut is then I'm going to slice the ends I'm going to slice through so that we can remove the seeds and mine does not have a lot of seeds today so uh, you can store these seeds and you can also plant them or you can also use to make some pumpkin seeds some roasted pumpkin seeds so i'm going to set aside mine and i'm going to do that in another episode we are going to be making some roasted pumpkin seeds and they are very delicious so do not throw this away then i'm going to cube this into smaller pieces that are pretty manageable Then let's proceed to the other side where we get started. Once my pan is hot enough, I'll go in with about a tablespoon of cooking oil. Then once that is also hot, I'll go in with my onion. I'm going to save this for about a minute. And as that continues cooking, I'll go in with my garlic and ginger paste. So once the garlic and ginger is fragrant, I'll go in with my butternut. Then I'm going to mix this so that the butternut is well coated with the cooking oil, as well as the garlic and ginger and the onion. And once I'm happy with that, I'll go in with my other set of spices. I'll start by adding in some salt. Then I'll go in with my black pepper. Thank you. 
Then, once this is fragrant, I'll go in with my water. And I'm going to add enough water just to cover all the butternut. Just like that. Then I'll cover this and give it a couple of minutes so that the butternut can be ready. Then in the meantime, as the butternut is doing its thing, uh, I'm going to prep my bread and you'll need some margarine or butter, whichever you use on a normal day, just use that. Then I'm going to spread on my bread. And we are going to be toasting this and today I'm using my oven. If at all you do not have an oven, please check out a recipe that I'm going to link at the end of this one on how you can toast your on how you can toast your bread without an oven or without a toaster. Uh, by simply using uh, your normal pan, that aluminium pan that you used to cook some eggs, that's exactly what you need. In the meantime, my oven is preheating at 170 degrees. And I'm going to pop this in till uh, it forms a really nice golden color that I prefer. It may take between 3 to 5 minutes. So I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to pop this in the oven and I'll see once my bread and my butternut are ready. So about 8-10 minutes later, my butternut is ready and you can see how delicious this looks. So I'm going to switch this off. Then I'll check on my bread and I'm going to let this cool for about 5 or so minutes so that we can be able to blend it. This is about 5 minutes later. You can see this has cooled down slightly. So I'm going to add it in my blender. Then I'm going to add in my milk. So you can add as much milk as you may want, or you can also add as less as you may prefer. This totally depends on how thick or thin you want your soup to be. So as you've seen, it was that easy. And now let's give this a taste test. Mm. Wow. Mm. Good. Mm. Wow. So I've served mine with some toasted bread. Wow. Mm. So, si tiki ya kuteseka juu ya baridi ya Nairobi. You can prepare this soup and I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. It's very delicious. That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.